Welcome back to my Let's Play of Orbiter. And you may have noticed, this is not Orbiter, nor is it the Dragonfly. But most importantly, this is not Orbiter. Um, I have decided, in lieu of doing the Dragonfly, as I had promised in the previous video, to show you add-ons, and how to add-on add-ons. I wonder why they're called add-ons. Um, anyway. So, as well as show you the ones that I use. Um, my current installation of Orbiter has a lot of them, but I do not use most of them. And so I will show you the ones that I will consider the core of the Orbiter experience. And to do that, we first go to the internet, which is the answer to all things. No. Um, my mouse doesn't seem to be, or seems to be working in only fits because my wireless receiver fell down. There we go. Much better. So, first we go to orbit er 2010 Dan Steff. Let's see if we get there. Dan Steff's orbiter page. Um, first and foremost, I would recommend Dan Steff's all my add-ons for Orbiter 2006. Don't worry that it's for 2006, um, as it all of this works for 2010. And it includes Orbiter Sound. Um, the initial installation does not have sound, so that's a very good thing to have. The Delta Glider 4, which I have been using, um, that's the one that I'm using, is the Delta Glider 4 2. UMMU 2.0 and UCGO 2.0. UCGO 2.0 includes um, all of the crates and the bases and uh, UMMU you might have the bases. Um, anyway, this has the Delta Gliders and the um, Arrow and a lot of cool stuff. So definitely pick this up. Um, hmm. So I'm just looking at that picture. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> getting re getting distracted. So, that's one I would pick up. Or, I, you should pick up. Um, next up is the Altea Aerospace. Altea Aerospace. Let's see if we get here. So, Altea Aerospace has the Ravenstar, a different version of the Delta Glider, which I don't really use, and the Vanguard. Um, you may notice the Vanguard is pretty massive. So, I would pick these up, which you can get on the download page. So, Ravenstar 1.5, Vanguard 1.8. Uh, definitely recommend those. Um, next on the list is something called AMSO. So, Orbiter 2010 AMSO. So, AMSO is the Apollo missions, and they're very, very, very well done. They have their own sound and everything, and their own um, um, their own MFD, which is called the Lunar Transfer MFD, which I have uh, demonstrated in one of my videos. I believe it comes with... Hang on. I'm going to hop over to Orbit Hangar. Make sure the lunar transfer MFD is not separate, and it does not appear to be separate. So um, this comes with the lunar transfer MFD, which is very, very handy. Next on the list, I need to go back to Orbit Hangar and type in International Space Station. International Space Station version 3.2 allows you to launch and construct the International Space Station piece by piece using... Um, the Soyuz, the Progress, the Proton, and the Space Shuttle. Um, it is very, very in-depth, very challenging and fun. Um, if you've never flown the Space Shuttle before, <laughs> then it is very challenging to sink orbit and do all that stuff with such a limited and or limited fuel supply and weak engines. So definitely this is a lot of fun to use. On that note, um, if you don't... Oh, sorry, back to this. The 
space station that results from this, like the one that you can use um, at the end of all of the missions, is very, very detailed. Each of the modules is um, painstakingly reconstructed. So it looks very, very well, or very good. And it, but it's not UMMU compatible, sadly. So to do that, you need UMMU, or UCGO, ISS. You type that in, and you get this. And this is the one that I used in one of the um, videos. It is UCGO and UMMU compatible, which means that you can store the UMMU UMMU people inside of it and they eat and breathe and do all that kind of stuff. It's not as visually appealing as um, ISS 3.2 but it is functional and I'll get to um, scenario editing later um, but for reference, for future reference this is called Alpha ISS inside the scenario editor. Um, next up is Velcro uh, let's see if this happens. Requires Velcro rockets. Velcro rockets um, is required for a lot of add-ons, um, so it's just nice to pick it up. Um, after that, you want Spacecraft 3, um, the Spacecraft 3 DDL or DLL, and there we go, this is what I want to go. Doop doo. Come on. There we go. So, um, from Vinka's fan site, you need the Spacecraft 3 full package and the um, multi stage 2. So these two, Spacecraft 3 and Multistage 2, are also required for many add-ons in Orbit Hangar. Um, let's go back to Orbit Hangar for Orbit, uh, not Orbiter Hangar, just Orbit Hangar, for Wide Awake. Um, Wide Awake is a spaceport, let's see if I can find Wide Awake International. Wide Awake is a spaceport in the Pacific along the equator, or Atlantic on the equator. Um, it looks very, very cool, is very, very functional, and is all around just a great little add-on. Um, it's very easy to get to an elliptical orbit from Wide Awake due to its equatorial location. Um, so there's that. And finally, my, the MFDs that I use are Lola MFD, which is here. There are a few versions. Um, I can't remember which one is the one that operates on the current model of Orbiter, but it's just trial and error. If the one you chose doesn't work, pick up another one, and let's see if it works. And the other one is TransX MFD which is required if you want to move out beyond the Earth-Moon system. Um, I will probably end up doing a video on how to use TransX, as it is pretty complicated, but it is also very, very powerful, and, um, well, it's powerful. So, th that's what I use. In the remaining time, I'll quickly run over how to install an add-on. And to do that, I will browse a launcher, because I like launchers. So, page 9. Um, let us choose RLA, Modular Vehicle. So, see, it requires multi-stage 2. Eek. I don't know if that means it can do multi-stage 3. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Hit the download button. It downloads. Go to your downloads folder. Um, I personally have uh, so slow. Personally, have a folder to hold all of my um, uh, zip folders. So you extract here, and if the person that uploaded it is kind, they will be put into these. 
um, folders, like config, meshes, scenarios, textures, um, which you then use to just drop it directly into your orbital folder. Dang it. Need to go to the very edge. And it says move to orbiter. Um, I'm not sure if it actually moved. It moved. Okay. And then it will be available for playing. Uh, let's see if it's our LA launch vehicles. So there you go. Just added that. Um, if it's a MFD that you uploaded or downloaded, you will probably have to go to modules under miscellaneous. You have all the LF MFDs. Here is Lola. Um, Lunar Transfer, which again comes with M. So and TransX, which is up here. Um, so that's what you want. Um, while you're in the modules, you may as well select or scenario editor. I will get to that later um, in a different video as I am out of time on this one. So those are the ones I have. That is how to um, install add-ons. It is very simple. Just download and move. Um, just a quick tidbit. Um, don't know if I'm going over time. Back to my orbiter. If you have multiple zip folders that you want to install at once, as I do here, say I wanted to reinstall a bunch of these, um, you can extract them all here, and they will just keep adding to their files, and adding to their files, and adding to their files, until they're all here, and then you can move these as a bunch, and it will install all of the add-ons at once, so you don't need to keep moving back and forth. So that is that. And I will see you in the next video where I might be doing Dragonfly or I might be doing um, something else. Um, so yeah, see you then.